impressed. I'm enthralled. I'm uh, I'm enamored. Wow. Woo. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'm going to be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you don't. Hi, my name is Jason Woods. Welcome to Chasing the Apex. Behind me, I have a Porsche Cayman GT4. What it is, I mean, it's just endless. It's endless torque. It's like a lake. It's like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I found out Excalibur here or what. Good Lord God in heaven. You know, and I have a tendency to make fun of the Germans and say they put too many nannies in it. I drove uh, a standard Cayman before and thought, well, you know, they put so many nannies in here it was like they didn't want you to drive it but here they go Porsche you're putting me to shame you're putting everything I ever said to shame it's visceral it's raw it's I don't know how to say it it's just my god it is without equal absolutely without equal And you could put down some serious lap times in this if you wanted to. And that's really the end game. And that's what it's designed to do. It's an absolute weapon. Holy heck. Stuttgart did something beyond anything that I've experienced from them yet. And everything I've experienced from them is phenomenal. But this is taking it to an entirely different level. I mean, it's beautiful. The exterior is amazingly beautiful. It just... I don't, you know, the lines go through. It doesn't, it, it does look like a Porsche, but it's got a race car feel to it, even from the outside, beginning with that big spoiler. As much as I'm not a fan of big spoilers, I can feel it here. I can feel the necessity of it because you're going to want to go to the track in this van. You're not going to want to play around on the street. This isn't a zero to 60 ninja where that's all you're going to do, even though it can do that. You know, it can do that and more you're gonna want to take it to the track. It's an absolute weapon. This is like the Excalibur of cars. The steering wheel is amazingly perfect. I mean, literally, you just wrap your hands around it and it's like, I don't know, it's like dancing. It's like dancing with a young lady on a moonlit night. God, I love this. And that's what Porsche does, man. Porsche always surprises me, but not on this one. This one I had such high expectations. And generally when I have high expectations, I'm, I'm usually let down, but that's not what happened here. No, Porsche just made a creature designed to wreck everything. And thank you, Porsche. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making a true driver's car. You can hear it howl. I mean, it turns on at about like 5,000 RPMs. You know, once it starts to dial in, it just starts to howl. And it's just a nightmare in disguise. Wow. I love this. And Bill, this is a shout out to Bill Easton for this. He told me I would love this car. He told me I wouldn't want anything else. Bill, you are lying, man. This thing is. God, it's good, man. Woo! And literally, I feel like I don't want to take it back. And there's been a dozen cars where I was like, yeah, I want to drive it a little while longer. I want to get used to it. I want to take it to a track day. I want to see what it feels like. This car is not like that. And there's only been two cars I've driven like that where I was like, okay, I don't need to be driven more than this. You're giving me enough right now. You know, you're giving me enough to know exactly what it is. You're giving it to me up front, and there's no lie. Anything you're getting to know in here is nuances. This is an absolute, I don't know, I want to say supercar. And you know, and people 
throw that term around very loosely now, right? Everything's a supercar, everything's a hypercar. I think in this, you give anybody a run for their money. A good driver in this will give anybody a run for their money because it doesn't take much. And it's so flat in the corners, mid-corners, it just sits and squats and holds. I gotta make another run, man. We gotta do this again, guys, because this is just too damn good. Oh my god. And did you hear the rev match? That's just amazing. You know, and for people that, because people are always complaining, well, I don't know how to rev match. I don't know, I don't know how to do that. This one does it for you. You can literally toss through the gears and there's like an electronic dealy bob that does it for you. Now, I don't know if I like that because I think there's some skill in driving that's lost. But I like the acceleration! Holy hell! Oh my god! So I closed the gap between the car in front of me and the, you know, wow! And it was so fast. I mean, so fast. And you're just thrown back in your seat. You're just like thrusted back. I mean, you're telling me 414 horsepower isn't a lot. And I'm telling you, and this little girl, no, 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 no. Anymore, she might be dangerous. She might be dangerous for the average driver. She's really, 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 really good. Now, the steering, the steering is phenomenal. Let's talk about that. The tactile feedback of it's just amazing. And I don't think, I can't remember the last time I was in the car and I was just so excited. You know, and I feel giddy. I feel like giddy like a school kid. You know what I mean? It's like I'm gonna go ask a girl out for the first time. That's how exciting the GT4 is. Okay, so final thoughts. It's visceral. It's raw. It's absolutely every bit a race car. And you're not gonna care how beautiful it is, even though it is beautiful. All you're gonna care about is this. Rolling through these gears, hearing it howl at 8,000 RPMs, that's all you're gonna care about. You're gonna care about chasing down every bit of corner you can find. You're gonna care about enjoying yourself. You're gonna care about holding that turn mid apex. You're gonna care about transitioning through corners. You're gonna care about rev matching. You're gonna care about trail breaking. You're gonna love, you're gonna love Porsche stability control, by the way. Yeah, Porsche stability management, rather. That's good stuff, man. And my final thought. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I'm in love. So thanks for the folks at YC Auto Group, without whom we couldn't bring you this kind of content. If you're ever in their area, make sure you check them out. Just stop in, say hi. Tell them you've seen them from us. Tell them I said hello. Anyways, thanks for watching Chasing the Apex. We'll see you next week. Here we go, here we go again. Call me up and you wanna be.